let me say, ACDP. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The ACDP is aware that the Performance Protection Amendment Bill sought to amend the Performance Pro Protection Act 1967 so as to insert, delete, or substitute certain definitions such as to provide performers uh, provide for performers economic rights to extend moral rights to performers in the audiovisual fixations to provide for the transfer of rights where a performer consents to fixation of a performance and to provide for the protection of rights of Honourable producers. Thring. Honourable Thring, just hold on. Honourable members, we've just asked you to switch off. Can you switch? get rid of them, please, if you can? Please get rid of them. Get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Please, just... This is crazy stuff. I mean, absolutely. Uh, go, uh, finish your, your, your say, uh, Honorable Tring. Sorry, Deputy Speaker. Honorable Deputy Speaker, I was also kicked out when you asked for everybody to be uh, gotten rid of. So, uh, it's collateral. Uh, Don't worry, you are back now. Go ahead. Then. Okay. Uh, so, Honorable Deputy Speaker, similar to the reservations that the President had with the Copyright Amendment Bill, the reservations of the Performance Protection Bill related to the incorrect tagging of the bill as the Section 75 Bill rather than a section 76 bill, the possibility that the bill may not comply with international treaty obligations in relation to the WIPO performance and phonograms treaty. Again, the committee decided to err on the side of caution with respect to the tagging of the bill and to deal with the possible non-compliance with international treaty obligations through the public comment process. The ACDP supports the committee's recommendations, and hence we also support this report. I thank you, Speaker, Deputy Speaker.